hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here in this tarot card reading looking at messages for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus thank you cancer for being here happy birthday to you much love and blessings to you for the rest of your birthday season hey let's get started with some messages for you so remember that these are general tarot card readings and all the messages may not apply to so all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly. Welcome in. Thank you for your understanding in that sense. And we're beginning to dive into this Queen of Pentacles energy is the energy you are embodying. This could be someone you're affiliated with or this is definitely your energy where you're feeling confident, glowing up. You're feeling wealthy right now. Your wealth could be coming into you. Your business is taking off or has already been established. And you're looking at your wealth here. I feel like some of you are in a dream state. Maybe you're wondering about some of the life that you'd like to manifest. But right now you're feeling abundant. You're tapping into your Capricorn, Taurus energy when it comes to your money and your business. The Justice card. I feel like you're wondering if things will work out in your favor. But you do bear, you do have what it takes to move forward. There could be new love coming into you. Someone could see you working or see you sitting on your throne up here. And they want to come into you. They want to come offer you some love here and affection. And this could be multiple people. This does not have to be one particular person. This could be a stream of people coming into you, wanting to offer you love and affection and good w words of encouragement, show gratitude and appreciation. Just maybe for the service that you're giving because the Queen of Pentacles is one that is highly valuable, confident, stable, one that brings or gives service. I'm going to clarify the justice card later on. We have the King of Swords. Some of you are looking to block a connection or to really tap into your focus ability here. Maybe that's the justice energy where you're feeling like you're not able to focus. Maybe this could be meditation. They're really wanting to tap into a focus to manifest something. I feel like you're leaving behind something that ended cancer a possible relationship or business connection and maybe that's what justice is that you haven't really blocked this connection as yet sometimes you focus on it think upon it but justice is on the side so it could be saying that this is what is really holding you back from receiving all of this love from the knight of cups energy here or maybe you're not seeing that this is coming into you because you're still you're still holding on to something from the past a relationship that ended here and like this King of Swords is saying that you need to really ascend into this power and really block mentally, block emotionally, energetically, get this clear this energy out out of you. But you're still you're still it's still lingering here. Whatever connection from a past relationship. Now this could be business or this could be romantic, but it's still lingering within your field, your energetical field. So right we have the page of wands this could be someone that you were are still are attracted to it's not necessary this is fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius cancer but this is not necessarily an aries leo or sagittarius it could be the energy of being attractive uh it could be someone slowly coming toward you wanting to weasel their way back in so they're slowly wanting to like these, this person is attracted to you and they're looking to really come around again, so to speak. And this could be an energy that's coming back, uh, creeping back into you. Maybe a sense of attraction that you had for someone or something. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know who, like maybe you're feeling very highly uh, sexy well, right now. I don't know, maybe you're attracted to someone. Maybe it's this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio over here that's coming toward you with this offering of love. And they're pretending as if you don't see them, but in truth, you are attracted, are attracted to this person. But maybe you're holding back. You're, you're waiting and examining first. Because this is, I feel like you know that this is just um, some, some feelings of sexual attraction. That's just the energy. And so you're not giving into it. I don't feel like you're giving into it. 
you're just allowing yourself to feel this energy but the justice card up here is very powerful so i feel like that's the, that's the thing you're not focusing on annihilating this connection which is what you should do i want you i feel like you should literally be ascending into the king of swords energy to really cut some connection off that's connected to your past so that you can see what's coming in for you and and maybe you're still attracted to this past person oh my gosh are you are you cancerian still attracted to this past person all right but i feel like something wants to come in but it's not with the justice energy here being your challenge and that's because you're still this is still lingering i said that three million times so you do want this new beginning i feel like there's a new i feel like there's a new wave, a new rush of things that you want to experience in your life when it comes to romance and intimacy. And maybe that's why you're dreaming. You're probably dreaming of this person <laughs> coming into you. This could be you closing your, closing your eyes and thinking of the day this person will come to you and you'll meet them. But it's like, I don't feel like you're physically associating or relating to a person it just literally feels like you're dreaming and this could be dreaming of a past person a situation that did not work out well for you that ended but you're looking <laughs> i don't know why you're dreaming instead of really allowing yourself to manifest these things it's as if you're saying you're not ready for a certain connection because you're still holding on to a past energy I think you need to zoops, cut out something from the past. It could be this person is your past person really wanting to come back to you. A lover that you had. All right. This person is not, not really committed. It's just sex. That's the energy. All right. Thank you for listening to that. I hope I was clear. Look at that. Now we have the king of wands sitting in your home. And this, could, I said, <laughs> you know, this could be you. This could be how you are feeling. Like you're feeling, uh, what is that word? Like you're feeling good. Maybe you're feeling attractive right now. I don't know. We have the the new moon in Cancer season right now. So be um be very mindful of what you're creating and attracting toward you. There's so much space to create much more and to ask for a lot more. Maybe that's where you need to be focusing on instead of attraction here attract sexual attraction cancel your hopes and fears it has something to do with work money stability the work that you're putting out i feel like it's consistency consistent creativity here in your work um but maybe you're dealing with a bit of distraction i feel it could be good for your heart for your emotions i feel like this is just going to ha be happening for the next several days ahead of you where you're not focusing maybe because you're seeing someone that you're attracted to and so you're you're manifesting that energy into your life um but i feel like there, this is an opportunity <laughs> cancel for you to really create dream more dream big and wish and hope let's see what your outcome is we have the death energy and on the bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords <laughs> So this, I feel the Eight of Swords energy is something mental, something that you're caught up in your mind about here. As I said, it can be attached to this, this Tower card. All right, so something ended, and I feel like this is what that's all about here. And you are having a new beginning, um, new feelings here. If you want me to clarify the Tower card, or if you'd like further clarifications into this reading, if the messages are resonating with you, Cancerian, Check the description, the description box where you can um, find more information about personal tarot card reading done just for you. Because this is a general reading. So the tarot card could be a relationship or a business, something that ended. The death card, something moving out, moving on, clearing away. So that's the energy. You're in a transition mode. Something needs to end or is ready to end and you're ready for this new beginning. Any clarification for what the Ten of Wands is? What is the Ten of Wands energy? Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Ten, ten of Wands. I feel like rebuilding. You are rebuilding. Rebuilding, rebuilding. Being away from conflict, indecision, and lack of clarity. Yeah. Because the Justice card is clarified with the Five of Wands. 
You're about to be happy though. I feel like this an offering is coming into you. It's going to make you happy. But you need to be organized in thought, in mind, in intention. Be clear about what is that you want. King of Swords. Let's get some clarification for King of Swords. I need just like I'm Be clear, direct, holy fudge. Hmm. Tap into your Christ consciousness. Look at things from a different, higher perspective. Be clear. The word is the sword. Speak what you want into existence. Alignment. You know, that's how you are to really focus. I feel you need to focus and clear up some energies that you're dealing with. Things that you've manifested in your past that you're somehow still focusing on or embodying. I feel like this is going to take work. For you to do you're going to be you have to you're going to have to be dedicated and stand your ground and be firm listen you're going to have to be militant and it takes work it does but it's okay but you i feel like in order for you to really manifest a, even a higher level of this knight of cups energy which would be the king and to even really notice your surroundings that you are abundant and wealthy listen tap into your higher self speak writing write down how you feel this is new moon energy so begin cancerian by writing out what you want to manifest instead of having these cloudy feelings around you not knowing what you're manifesting focusing here and there and everywhere learn how to breathe with the ace of swords energy there's a lot of healing transformations taking place in your life right now you're about to manifest higher greater more powerful love because that's what you want but you're, there's a past connection here that's still lingering and this all this reading is saying is tap into that king of swords energy your higher self your higher perspective your own love of self you know your own stability your identity let's look at the tower card what's the tower message that's ended feel like the tower card is what you've left in the past and it doesn't even need clarification because this is what we're talking about moving away from it's going to make you happy to really detach king of swords Oops, you're you're already turning your back on this situation but i do feel like you it's still lingering in your energy justice is saying clear up this confusion focus breathe meditate we clarified the new beginnings, starting over. You see, because the tower, the tower came and ended things, and then we have the seven of sword. I feel like this is you putting things back together, and not just you on your own, but it's when you're beginning to focus and tap into your higher self. Things begin to fall into place when you start to meditate. Let's clarify the death energy. What is death? What's moving out? What's going out? What's ending for Cancerian? Hmm. Okay. Prosperity is coming in. Oh my God! I feel like prosperity is about to come in when this because this ended. Prosperity is coming in. Like prosperity from a higher perspective. Like you're about to be reaping great rewards. There's a there's healing also from a broken heart. Maybe the situation in the past did break your heart, Cancerian, and you that's why the energy is still lingering here. But justice is saying you have to learn it when you're being defiant, find defiance in cutting off energies that are not effing serving you and are pulling you back. From receiving and connecting to great love ahead of you you're about to manifest prosperity justice is saying once more cut ties with this energy that's the energy of frustration and confusion another message is for cancerian please angels first and guides thank you so much any other messages for cancerians hey we have the strength card so you do you got what it takes mama papa yay yay yes look we have the king of pentacles do you have what it takes the strength card 
Hierophant. And you're going to be so freaking happy. You're going to be happy, Cancer. And I love you. We have you're guided by the stars. The sun is here. Three of Pentacles is my sun energy. Um, so all is working out in your favor. I love this reading. This is your next seven days ahead. Remember, if messages resonate, check out the description box for more details on donations, on personal readings, and on other ways to support this channel's growth. I love you. I love your support. All of your support is greatly, abundantly appreciated. Thank you so much. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire, Cancerian, because you are all and all is within you. Much love to you.